He's the longest serving member of Congress in history, elected at 29 years old when his father, then congressman, passed away. And ever since, John Dingell has taken up his father's fight for universal health care. This is perhaps dad's single greatest uh, unfinished business remaining. Passed. Mr. Dingell is recognized for five minutes. Dingell, now 82, has been introducing the same health care bill with slight modifications that his father proposed 65 years ago. And he does so at the start of every single congressional term. We have a health care system in this country, which is very interesting. Uh, Everybody can get all he can afford, but nobody can get everything he needs because uh, of the fact that there's this disparity between the availability and the ability to pay. But despite his persistence, the entire original bill has never made it to the House floor for a vote. The interesting thing about this is the same folks that opposed it before are largely opposing it today. Dingle admits that part of his drive is to live out his father's legacy, but in the end, it's about making history. This is the only major industrialized nation that doesn't have a program of national health insurance to take care of our people. And while members of Congress continue to debate over a final bill, his lifelong commitment to the cause hasn't gone unnoticed. A bill for comprehensive health reform was first introduced by John Dingle Sr. in 1943. 65 years later, his son continues to introduce that same bill at the beginning of each session. When the president mentioned him, it was very good to me because uh, it was he who frankly started this out. And very frankly, even more importantly, it was he who taught me how to do the things that have to be done and gave me the concern for people who have so little and who have such desperately needs, desperate needs in health. After decades of fighting for universal health care, Dingle has grown a bit hardened, saying that even if a bill does pass, the fight will not end there. Fernando Suarez, CBS News, Washington.